Hello guys, welcome back. So in the last video we saw how to um, add a, a buy button to, um, to a standard website like HTML or WordPress or whatever else you're using then Shopify. Um, and it looks, it looks something like this. Um, my concern in this case is that we have 20 different products and most probably this is not the case with everyone that you will have that amount of products on the same page. Um, but my concern here is in terms of speed um, because all of this, each single product, um, we're getting a, a code to embed and that code has a lot of, of information, a lot of data um, in it and some of them are uh, repetitive um, so maybe we'll try to to shrink it down a little bit um, now uh, the code looks something like this so it's it's a little bit too much in my opinion so um, and and I was right about being worried about it um, if we do a test for um, for the speed of that page it takes a lot of time 6.5 seconds and the page is about 3.7 megabytes uh, and 263 requests that's way too much um, so what we're gonna try to do is um, shrink this down so let's see um, what's repetitive um, we know for sure um, that the script, uh, most probably the script needed for um, to run this code will be repetitive. So let's copy and do a search. And if I'm looking for this, find all, it repeats 20 times. So that 20 times, we can actually remove it. So let me go ahead, clean that, and I'll be back with you. So what I did was um, going, deleting all um, the instances of the JavaScript uh, request because it was it was twenty times the same thing and the same request, which that's heavy on uh, on the server. Um, make sure you delete it everywhere um, below. Um, where where it was before in in your code and add it to the head section so just before the closing head add uh, the JavaScript we need and we need it only once um, so this section over here you see you have you have script to script um, and instead of having it in each and single button but this again, it's it's only if you have more than one uh, instances of button on on the same page. Um, that's when it comes a concern for for speed. So let's save this and uh, go and transfer it to the server. I I already did it, but it was it it was twenty six thousand bytes before. Uh, now drop at twenty two. Um, so let's actually go and refresh the speed. Let me just take a print screen here. Um, so we have these numbers. Let's just test again. We have 263. Uh, aha. See right now the the loading time it's it's nearly half of uh, of what it was before. Um, let me pause the video and see if there's something else that we can uh, that we can work with. So in my case, there's not um, much else that I can do as a quick fix. Um, the, the 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 code it's okay. Um, we do need to keep. Uh, the, the the rest of the code, even though if it's it, it's repetitive, uh, we do need it to in order to for the buy button to to work. Um, what you can do in your case, uh, go at the same website that I am. It's it's Ping Dom uh, Tools. Um, so take a look at that. I will put it in in the description also. Run your your website. 
Um, and and again, it's this is a pretty good difference, 3.67 seconds um, instead of instead of where we were, we were at 6.5. Um, so as as I said, it's it's nearly half uh, half of it. Um, what you can do in your case also is take a look at um, whatever you're using um, most the, the, the server and go um, go and take a look for recommendation but also take a look at uh, at the page analysis you will see where um, where the time it's spent so um, a lot of the time here it's spent actually to get back an answer um, so we we have a lot of waiting. We have a lot of uh, going back and forward. In in some cases, the images will take the most uh, time to to render, and that's what it's going to use uh, your, uh, your 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 speed here. Um, let's see. Let's see if I doubt it. Image. I don't have that many images. I don't have a big, big image. It's 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 a lot of different uh, images, and you can see that um, what's using the most is 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 actually it's Shopify, 2.8 megabytes on um, maybe three something like that. Uh, it was 3.5. So 2.8 out of the 3.5 megabytes are from uh, from Shopify. <coughs> Sorry, if you do have um, images that are too big, um, you can also go to website um, to a website called um, Compress or just just Google uh, Compress JPEG. And you're gonna be able to put your, your your images here, and it will compress it for you, and you can put them back on uh, on your website. So I hope this helps. Um, if you do have any questions, as usual, uh, please ask me in the comments below. You also have my uh, my email, my Skype, um, LinkedIn, uh, even my. Uh, my, my, my Twitter it's in there so you have all my information if you do need to reach me reach me or um, just ask a question directly in in the comments as usual um, please subscribe I'm releasing videos like this each week um, so like that you won't you won't miss out thank you